Hello, everyone, and welcome back. We apologize for the short hiatus. We can all get a little busy this time of year. But we're back now and ready for some adventuring. Thank you so much for the support, and remember to like our videos and visit us on Patreon and let us know how we're doing. Now, as for our adventurers, they have recovered from their defeat in the Goblin Cavern, and they are ready to fight back. Armed, rested, and maybe ready to go? We shall see. Now we return to Drinkin' Dungeon. Filled up. All right. All right. To another night. To another night. Ooh. Ah. All right. So uh, we left off with uh, you guys having escaped from the tower uh, in various uh, assortment assortments of disarray. And and uh, various assortments of being clothed, yeah, and yes. being knocked out, yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. But then you guys um, uh, ended up sort of regrouping. Uh, you actually ambushed uh, a goblin on a spider, and took them out. Um, oh Bergamot made some armor from wood, mm -hmm. uh, so he at least has something wood and a bedroll. Yeah, oh, and a and, water skin. and a water skin. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Is there, um, I forgot to ask before, and I don't remember if I asked uh, at the end of that session, um, I know we we were fighting and then we sort of fled. Did we get a chance to search the dead goblin or anything, or did we run from the um, spider? No, no, you killed both things. Okay, I couldn't um, remember if the spider ran away. I know we killed the goblin. No, I'm pretty sure you killed them both. Because I was wondering if there was any chance that, um in passing that we could have grabbed his um, his little uh, horn that he was bugling back and forth to his buddies. Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Is there any chance I could have grabbed anything that the goblin was wearing? <laughs> uh, yeah, they have little bits of, like, you know, leather that they're wearing. So yeah, not a okay. whole lot. But... I don't wear very much. I grabbed the goblin clothing. Okay there. <laughs> All right. Um, so... Uh, that night, after you guys uh, finished up and you're making plans on, on where to go from there, uh, I'm going to read a little little scene here to give you a, a sort of insight into what's happening with your characters right now. A small fire crackles, giving off just enough light for you to see each other's faces. You still hear faint echoes of horns being blown into the night. The hollow you sought refuge in should keep you hidden through the night, but you still keep the flames low and you take turns on watch. You think back to what has transpired over the past weeks. You have experienced something that most don't. Those who are safe behind their walls and their guards. You have triumphed and most recently suffered a defeat. But you have learned much and you are ready for more. You feel that change inside is for the good. And as dawn breaks and the incessant goblin horns fade and disappear, you have a quick meal of elven rations warmed over by the dying embers. You pack up, ready your weapons, and head head out, knowing you are stronger than before. Which means, ding, level two. Whoa. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Guys, we made it. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Ada just said something optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> we're not we're killing you. Yeah. They didn't kill you. <laughs> All right, uh, so we're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to level up, and awesome. then we're going to get right back into the adventure. All right! Sweet. Let's awesome. do it! Yeah. All right, we're All back. Right. We're leveled up. Leveled up, we're baby! We're going to do a shot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, to baby. Level two. I'm leveled up. It's almost like I'm not naked anymore. <laughs> uh, Almost. 
Yeah, you're still naked. Oh, yeah. Alright. Can so, I have my bedroll book? Do you want it? You gotta come get it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's like been... I don't need the crotch or... part. I think that's where the water skin went. Wait. <laughs> a bedroll comes with a crotch part? <laughs> well, then I've got it on backwards. <laughs> Alright, so tell me, what do you guys want to do? Oh. So, Bergamot. We, uh, we need, uh... We need something on our screen here. Oh yeah. Do we have to join game? Yes. Sorry Oops. about that. No. We got so excited by leveling up, we forgot lost to our adventure. Join right, so the we'll, game. So I, w I had an idea, Bergamot, and I wanted to ask you. This is Zyla speaking. I want to ask you. I'm all ears. If you want to go get your stuff back, because I had a really great idea. <laughs> you know I got to get my stuff back. So That's I all, was I, I'm all thinking. About it. We could, I could dress like a goblin. I love and it. And then capture, act like I've captured you guys, take you back to the tower, and make our way in. It's like. <laughs> I mean, I know I don't speak goblin, but it's I like might be able to persuade them to think that I, you know, am a goblin and that I, I've captured them. If I roll around in dirt a whole lot, maybe, and mess my hair up. They, and put on so they, they are clothes. very, like I said, they have a spider-like <laughs> look to them. Uh, you know, like, very long-limbed, very, like, emaciated, um, very broad heads. I don't, mm. I don't know. Rub yourself with bigger. Especially because most of them are just wearing, like, loincloths and little scraps of leather. It's not like there's a lot, like, you can't wear a helmet or anything. Yeah. I got a really great image, though, because what all of a sudden I realized... What if I'm the replacement goblin chef, and I'm wearing, like, an apron? And a... We left the <laughs> <All right>. apron. <laughs> well, no, look. I'm here to take over... <laughs> <laughs> See, I was, I, look, I, I'm willing to, if you guys want to try was, to persuade, the persuasion check on not being able to speak their language and to convince them that you're their new goblin chef, you can go for it. But hey, can you like do a, a, a spell on me that makes my mouth look like it's been ripped off so I can't talk? No. <laughs> no. My spells don't get that. No. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't know. What do you guys want to do? The thing I love about that is it made me, and just for a, uh, a nerd homage moment, that made me think that like Bergamot uh, would be the Chewbacca in that situation, and that you were, uh, what is it, Luke wearing the uh, Stormtrooper thing, leading the leading uh, Yes, the, the ruse. <laughs> but um, What if we all cut some bushes down and we all just get inside the bushes and slowly walk back so, up to the castle. I feel like maybe... <laughs> I love all of these ideas, by the way. I love them. I feel like maybe because they're out searching, that maybe their tower is less, you know, fortified. Like, there's yeah. not as many people there. We just bust so, on in, then. Yeah, so yeah. I feel like we're better off... We already Singing know. We already know the back way in, but it's upstream but if we wanted to go that way we could basically go upstream or we can go through the front door but we already know there's a trap there yeah so i think we we couldn't do upstream last time we tried the current was too strong to yeah um we what if we climbed up well, the side what if we threw a rope up and climbed up the side and came through through the top okay. so you guys when so, I, by leveling up i actually learned spider climb Figured it was worth it because we would watched those guys climb climb up all the walls, so I had to you know fight against them. So I could definitely climb around the the slick, you know, and maybe throw some stuff at them. So and I definitely have. You're um, good on your feet. I feel like that we should just head back into the tower. I have a grappling hook and some rope, so I could maybe like possibly throw a grappling hook. Yeah, up to one of the windows or something and climb in. We had a discussion very similar to this when we first approached the tower, and we didn't go for climbing or scaling the walls on our approach because we knew that we would be under siege and mm -hmm. climbing leaves us vulnerable. Now, I think that if we are going to approach the front door, let's, let's do our best, let's do some checks, let's look for 
we can assume, hopefully, that the way we came in last time is going to be... Still has a giant hole. Well, yeah. but also is going to be mostly clear. We can hope that, you know, we already know that the way we at least know the route that we came in before, and we know we know the floor plan and everything, uh, we could hope that there's not as much guards on our reapproach, although we do know that now that um, night is over, we c it's safe to assume that all the Gramblins have gone back into the tower. But I feel like no matter what route we take in, we're going to be no worse than we were our initial approach to the well, tower. Well, he did say that we could still hear some faint horns in the distance. That was, no, it, that's it. As time. sun came up, the oh, horns faded away. Okay. So you guys know that they're out looking for you at night. So it's and, and there is no, we there, wait till night? When there is no work? time limitation as far as you know. Yeah. So I mean, you guys could wait till night again if you want, or if you want, you can, like, okay. Do you, you want to wait till night? I mean, I can... You guys are level two now. The training wheels are off. No more Elder God telling you guys what to do, so... <laughs> um, I feel like if we wait till night, something's going to come to So, right, here's, here's my, my... One of my um, talents is healing, which it says you can take around to bind an injury, target gains back one hit point. During a rest, healer can use their abilities to allow other characters to gain back double normal hit points. Does not stack. So if we waited... Okay. We could get double hit points essentially, right? Well, you would have already only... done that in the night before when you rest. That's why you guys are all back to full. But so it's not says, double but, art. But it's this not is double. double. It says no, gain you can back. Only heal double. Yeah, you heal double. Oh. So you yeah, you can never double your own hit points unless it's a like a magical buff. No. Okay. I read that wrong. But I'm all right. Sorry. So, uh, I, I, I feel this is worth saying. If we have learned now that these um, Grand Bombolins tend to go out at night, it might be worth noting that they could very well be resting right now during the That's day. That's true. So if we are really quiet and really slow, time is on our hands, they don't know where we are, and so long as we can remain silent, we can slowly enter this place and essentially be exactly where we were before, except, you know, in theory right now, we know that, or we can hope that they might be asleep or they might be trying to all figure out how to cook dinner because they don't have a chef right now, so maybe they're all in the kitchen just arguing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we don't know. Let's do it. Yeah. How slow are we? I want to say slow and steady. I mean, you guys can get there pretty quickly. Slow okay. and steady is going to win this race, I think. We yeah. need to we need to really work with each other. Let's let's just not let's not do anything without. So, uh, so you guys working. have a couple plans that you mentioned. Uh, there's the front door. There's also uh, like the spider climb that you could do. How do you guys want to approach the tower? And that I'm I'm assuming that you guys have now decided to go to the tower, correct? Yeah, yes. maybe we should do both. Like maybe do you I need should to move us to the, the spider climb. And we could sure. go through the front doors, and that way she could get them from the back if they attack. I got one more idea. This just came to me. Okay. How about this? If we know the layout of this tower, we know that all it would take is for one person either to be really stealthful or to be really quick. Could, in theory, rush in, get down to the creek that actually flushed us out, and this is crazy, but go with me. If someone with a grappling hook and rope came into the tower, went back down to the creek, and then left a rope going into the creek, we could enter upstream the last place they would ever find us. I don't know if that made sense, but if somebody goes into the tower, ties off the rope, and then and it, takes the rope down the creek. I mean, how long of a... How long of a it flushed us right what out. What span is that, though? Is Isn't it more than yeah. 50 feet? Oh, oh yeah. well, that's a very good... Yeah, that'd yeah. be... See, I didn't think this out, it goes, but I was it goes through two like, stories. Mm. Two stories? I thought uh, the creek was on the bottom floor of the tower. Yeah, so there's the tower, and then you guys went through the basement of the tower, and then you went down, remember? Push. So if... But to finish this thought, if somebody at the basement floor, where the creek is, if somebody fastened a grappling hook at the creek, 
and then let the rope go down the creek, could the two people outside the tower sure, think? Sure, but that would mean that one person would have to get their Question. way all the way down. Or what they about, could what about the creek? Um, is it, I can't remember, is it a cavern kind of thing? Mm -hmm. Like, could I use spider climb to climb instead of going against the water? Like No, because you guys went under. Yeah, it's under. Like, it's it's oh. an under, yeah. So my question to the two of y'all is, would it make sense for us to create a back... We can't swim against that current, but if we had a rope that we could pull ourselves against, yeah, they're not looking means, for us to come in that way. That means one of us needs to make it all the way down there. Well, no, that one person just runs or sneaks the whole time. That's terrifying. Well, I don't know if we have a rope that's long enough to reach from the inside all the way to the exit. Would there be a way for one of us to stand at the exit of the creek from the tower and try and determine if we all did a check and looked at the creek exiting the tower, could we determine how far it is until the creek is inside the tower? You could, but I will just say that even without doing that, knowing what you guys went under and through, the chance yeah. of a rope that seems make like... flowing out and not getting caught on something along the way, and it was a long... Um, that was a really, you were probably really good idea, though. For it, I'm just trying to think of something that they're not think, expecting. Yeah. You guys were barely conscious for it. It looks like it's about 40 rough. feet of underwater, of underground Shit. water, let yeah. alone the cave area. So. I say we should just go in either the spider, like I can either go up the spider climb and put a, grab, like a rope down to you guys, or go through the front door and just go through the same. I would love to sneak in through the ceiling. Okay. Well, I feel like they won't be expecting that. Okay. Because last time we snuck in, well, we didn't really sneak, but we came in through there the front door. There was nothing sneaky yeah. about last time. But I, I feel know. like we both, we could climb, like if you climb I can up climb there up, and then you drop, drop, a drop a rope, like I think that's the easiest thing instead yep. of one of us trying to throw a grappling hook, which is noisy. Yep. I, um, I don't think that's a bad idea, but we did talk about this when we first entered the tower and our holdup was that any of us that are on the wall whether we're scaling with spider climb or scaling with a rope is that that is our action and we're vulnerable that yeah, anybody who comes in and fires spider, at us. spider climb actually allows you to climb as if you're like walking yeah so it actually it, it i mean it would still be a movement but it, it's not like a grappling hook and where it makes noise and it's hard to climb you up. You don't have to do checks. Either. There's literally no, like, you're like Spider-Man. Your fingers, so someone, at worst, you could go at least spy down and see what happens. So I would like to say, how about if, how about we, instead of committing to all three of us being uh, vulnerable, we do one person scout it give us hand signals, let us know if yeah, we can enter the door. I'm going to climb up there. If it's safe, I'm going to drop a rope. If or not, we can just go through you guys the door. have your arrows ready. If not, and I walk up and there's goblins, shoot. I think that's a good idea. But we do have a door to go through if it's clear. We don't have to climb if it's clear. Okay. Well, I don't know if I can see to the door, but I will find out. Um, I would like to climb up the wall. All um, right. So I'm going to so use one mana for that. And then so are we at the I don't front? think I, it says, um, where, where we're on the tower are we? Back. You guys are to the side of it right now. Side. Um, the, the front section back. is up, up here towards the top of the map. And so that's like the doorway that you guys came in that way. So you guys are literally the, right to the side of it. That's where the spider climb is, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to go up. Um, do I have to do awareness check to see what well, First, let's do a thievery check to see how, uh, how quiet you are getting up I there. Think it's a, I thought it said that I didn't have to do any rolls for it, though. No, 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 there's no roll. But what I'm saying is this is a thievery to see if you're okay. going up quietly. All right. What'd you roll? Mm -hmm. I got a 14. Six. All right, so uh, you shimmy up the side. And you're right at the very top, and you creep up to peek over when a loose brick knocks forward and falls down into the inside courtyard. Uh, there's two goblins. Um, here, I'll move you up so that way you can sort of see. Um, here, I'll put you right there. Uh, there's two goblins standing guard looking out the... Uh, arrow slits that you guys fought through earlier. Mm -hmm. Both of them look up. One of them reaches down for a short bow 
and the other one reaches down for a very familiar crossbow. <gasps> So, and then you look down along the edge of uh, towards the other side and there's a crevice uh, like underneath a little roof hanging and then eight long spindly legs come out and a large spider starts shimmying towards you. Now um, it's only it's only 40 feet not 40 feet it's only 20 feet tall the tower so your movement is the same as that so you could actually you just moved you haven't you've basically moved up there seen all this and you could just shimmy back down right now or they've seen it so i mean did they see her or did they see the brick they saw the brick if the goblins didn't look up immediately and see her which they they would start looking up uh the spider did see you because he has I would eight imagine times if the vision the second the second Lost. that brick went over i, I would imagine you would probably ducked yeah i feel like i would have but yeah i rolled terribly so maybe i didn't but well no that's fine okay so yeah you just knocked the brick we'll say that i would not i would have knocked the brick and sat there and go <laughs> <laughs> and then if it was quiet i would have like peeked over probably um so, so you knocked the brick and, and 10 seconds. We'll, we'll say that the goblins didn't see you but the spider definitely did and it's now like unfolding um to your left Okay. Uh, I can't daze it because it's probably more than yeah. Wait. So we're seeing. Uh... Is that spider on the outside? He's up on the very top. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's just he's, he's like, a big spider, so up. he can't. Yeah. Um. So your choices are, are move action, uh, I mean, you can, as a free action, shout something to them if you want to shout something to them, or you can start moving, or you can uh, start fighting from you up there. Use free actions all the time because they're free. No reason not to. I feel like I probably, if I was freaking out, I probably would have dropped the rope, honestly. Um, I'm going to look down at you guys and be like, ah, and... Uh, you mean silently. Uh, silently. Ah! <laughs> and we're down here. Like. Um, and I guess I'm going to shoot. Ah! Wait, let me see. Yeah, I'm going to um, <laughs> shoot wild magic at the spider. All right. Oh, God. All right. This one failed me. Let's try this one. Not rolling with my dice tonight. Nope. I tried to offer you some Do good not dice. Do So what'd you, what'd you roll? Uh, six. All right, yeah, so six is not enough, even with, with any ability scores that you can okay. add. So so you come back over and you, you guys see her fire off uh, a blast. Gosh. Oh, oh crap. And then uh, I would say everyone rolls initiative now. Shit. Okay. Mm. Let's see which one I'm going to do. At home. Those are the same die that you were rolling awful with last time. No, I left my dice at home. These are not my dice. The ones I was just talking about that you were rolling awful with last time were your dice. Last time. Alright. But I still trust them. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die you guys. Alright, and uh, Zyla, what'd you roll? Seven. Seven. Bergamot, what'd you roll? Five, baby. Five. Ada, what'd you roll? Two. All right. We need to, like, fix this really bad. What do you mean? What do you mean, fix this? So, um... Fix these dice? Pick different ones. I tried to offer you my good ones. I'll still offer you my good ones. So, you guys hear from the inside, uh, a goblin horn blast. <gasps> Is it a familiar goblin horn or a familiar horn? <laughs> it is. It is not. It is not. Um, I can tell you. Much. I don't know that horn. Um. Wow. So you guys really rolled seven, yeah, five, and saw. two for. Yeah. It didn't matter level enough. We're all gonna die. All right. Um. So, uh, other than the horn blast, you don't know what the goblins are doing. Um. But the spider makes its way towards you, Ada. Yep. And it tries to bite you. 
and it rolled a 19. Oh, goodness. And it does three points of damage, and give me a fort save, please. So it's a DC, uh, uh, a D20 plus your fort bonus. 17 plus uh, 3. Alright, so uh, some venom oozes from the wound, but it doesn't uh, it doesn't poison you. Alright, uh, next up is Xyla. What do you want to do? So really, the goblins rolled lower than Xyla? No, it's, I mean, they blew the horn, but you don't know oh, what okay. they're doing because none of you guys can see them. Got it. Um... Because we said that you moved back over to the yeah. side, so you won't be yeah. able to see down anymore. I am going to shoot it with my short bow. All right. I'm going to try. Come on, you can do it. Wait, you guys have to say your dice sorry. rolls. Uh, so that way. Four. Four? Uh, no, nope. wait, six. Sorry, six. Your arrow just flies into the air, missing. Goodness. Uh, Bergamot, uh, what do you do? Um. Alright, we're hitting the shots tonight. We're hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping that maybe It'll it makes make dice rolls a little go better. A bit better. Let's see. Alright, so, <laughs> Bergamot, you're deciding uh, what you're going to do. All right, for well, for uh, my first turn, I'm gonna inspire some courage. I don't have a song picked out, but uh, I'm just gonna start singing because my voice does carry, and it seems to inspire my comrades. So I'm gonna start singing for five rounds. They will get my bonus. That is my main action, and I'm thinking. I might just want to boogie around to the front door, at least, um, or uh, I can't make it all the way there. You can make it almost there. Here, I'll, I'll well, here's, you. here's what I want to do. I want to make it close enough to the front door where I'm within sight of it, but also within range to maybe shoot that spider. Is, that, uh, is there a good middle ground for that? Um, since, that you used, like it, but... since you used your action to sing, you could sing and shoot or sing and move. Uh, I want to sing. I, I can't shoot. I want to sing and then move, but I want to be keep them in sight. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I want to so, be yeah, within, you, because the spider is not going to be able to exit the wall on his turn. I think so. I want to be able to shoot the spider on my next turn, but I want to be close to that front door in case I need to take an alternate ingress. Baby. All right. All right. And there you are. Next up is Ada. Okay. And so we all now have. Um, Five rounds of plus, plus one. one. Yep. For um, damage and um, for yeah, saving it. throws yeah. and attack. Okay. Nice. All right. Um. Oops. I was trying to see where I could see. I can still see the goblins, or am I shadowed, or I'm like. You could yeah. you could easily pop up. You just drop down a little bit, so you could pop up and okay. see the goblins, or you have the spider right in front of you. I guess I'm gonna go to the spider. Um, with, uh, wild magic. Alright. So roll 20 for yep. that. 18 plus 1. That hits. Okay, and then damage, um, is... Alright, I haven't done this since level 2. It says, um, gaining 1d4 in power every 2 levels. What's um, it called? Yeah, so at 3rd level it would, oh. it would jump up. Yeah. Okay. So, just making sure I don't have yep, yep. any bonuses. Two plus one plus one, so four points of damage. All right. All right. Uh, you blast off blast. Uh, one of the uh, leg tips from the spider. Just the tip. Just the tip. Right. Oh. All right. Um, and then, just in time, Ada, you see... The goblins were climbing up the walls, and they're up at the top now. Uh, the one right next to you uh, fires a very recognizable uh, They've got your crossbow. crossbow at you. 
Are you, you telling? Are you telling Bergamot that? Or are you I telling mean, me? I mean, probably that? not. I'm probably but it just staring. If you yell that down to Bergamot, that might change his motivation. But if you know that and you're just telling me, I can't tell Bergamot that. <laughs> hey, Bergamot. And the one, the other one shoots yeah. you. They've got your crossbow. Are you yelling that? So the crossbow misses you, but the other one shoots an arrow and it hits you in the calf for two points of damage. Got it. Oh. All right, and the spider attacks and misses. Yes. All right, Zyla, what do you want to do? I'm shooting that spider. Well, no, I'm shooting the. I'm shooting one of the goblins with my short bow. Uh, actually, you can't see the goblins. See goblins are inside. Oh, they're, they're on okay. the inside walls. Up oh, high. okay. I thought you said they were at the very tip top. Okay. Um, I'm shooting the spider. With All right. That's my short bow. I'm gonna use this Get thing. it. What'd you roll? I rolled a nine. Okay, nine nine misses. Uh, Bergamot, what do you want to do? Well, I think I might just want to fire a little ditty off at that spider. I have I have a short bow. And. I missed. Wow. Uh, so, with my remaining, could I, uh, because now I'm close to the front door, um, no, I missed. I'm just still singing. All right, still singing? Mm hmm. Ada, it is your turn. All right, I'm gonna hit the spider again with some wild magic. Oh, and I'm taking it down one. Yeah. Well, if you're still singing, it stays at five. Oh yes. Counter doesn't go down till you start stop singing. Okay, so I'm gonna um, hit it with wild magic. So d20. Seventeen. Yep. That hits. One. Roll damage. Okay. Four plus one plus one, so six. All right, six damage. Uh, you blast off the rest of that leg. Yeah. That one leg, not a different leg. Yeah. No, nope, she's I... just all focused, focused <laughs> in like you wouldn't mine. believe. He's got other legs, baby. Um, one of the goblins scrambles along the wall and hangs out over the edge <gasps> and fires his cross or. Fires Bergamot's crossbow down at Bergamot. Oh, burn! You seem awfully happy. Eleven. About that. Uh, a bolt sticks into your wooden shield. You know uh, that sound effect, right? Everybody knows that sound effect. The one across the way fires an arrow at Ada <gasps> and misses. Yes. And then the spider lunges forward with its seven legs. <gasps> Seventeen and hits. Ada. And does Ada does one point of damage and also please kill me a, a fortitude save. Dang. Whew. Remember you get a plus one on your save throws. Baby. Okay. So. And it's fortitude. Mm -hmm. So I rolled a five plus one is six plus three is nine. Uh, you. You instantly uh, feel uh, weaker, <sighs> and you're taking uh, one point of strength damage. So your strength is down one, but not hit, just uh -huh. strength. So do I rate that just? No, I said it did one point of damage. It did one point of damage in the bite, but then yeah. your strength went down one okay. point as well. So when does that restore? Um. Uh, you cure it with one save. So every round you can make a save to try to. What about like a, um, a med kit? Does that fix something like that? No, not really. There, there are like anti venoms that, that you could drink, but it's for a like a weak type. poison like this, and I'm going ahead and just telling you this. Uh, I should have made you do a knowledge check, but it'd be once you make a cure save, then it just goes away and you gain your strength back. So next up is Zyla. What do you do? Um, Take a I want to run around to the door and try to open it. Check for traps. 
Right. Remember, okay. it's slippery. Not, not on the outside of the door. Inside. Yeah. Well, right. I'm thinking if I can get maybe. I know they've probably already seen me, but I want to use. Um, so in one move action, you can move all the way up to the door. Well, I've got run. Right. You you can only move 20 feet. It's 40 feet to the okay. door. Okay. Okay. And uh, actually, the door is not even closed. It's They left it open. Yeah, so I want to run up to the door, and okay. then I want to aim at one that's like from the inside that maybe doesn't see me. The only one that you would be able to shoot is the one that's hanging over shooting at Bergamot. But you can aim at that one, yes. From the inside, she could aim at it too, right? Because the uh, no, not missing. from where she is right there, she can. But if she went inside, it, well, if you moved any more, you lose your attack action. So yeah, oh. you can fire that one. So roll, oh. roll d twenty. Okay. All right. Plus his. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. Plus his. Twenty-three. That hits. Roll some damage. All right. And when you get plus one for attack. Five. Five? Six. The, or, uh, yeah, she rolled a four. Uh, the arrow uh, goes through its throat, and it falls off uh, the the edge. And uh, hey, give me a reflex save. Me? Yes. Well, 20 plus three. All right, so as it falls, it lets go of your crossbow, and you sling the shield behind you, and you catch it in midair, oh! swing it around, and it's loaded with the bolt. I yeah. meant to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I did, baby. But do you have any arrows? One. <laughs> I sent it loaded with one bolt. Yep. Um, but it fell close enough to him where he could actually uh, search it for more bolts. Um, all right, Bergamot, it is your turn. What do you want to do? Um, how close? Oh, right there. Uh, do I have to step to search? Or no, can no, you can just reach and search them. Okay, That'd be an action, but you have one bolt that you could fire this round and then Okay, do something um, else. what can Bergamot see? Um, if you would please. Uh, all you can see is the uh, spider. Oh, spider. I'm going to shoot that one bolt at the spider because that does more damage than the... Um, short bow that I was so wonderfully given by my comrades. So I'm going to go back to my crossbow. Alright, roll a d20. <sighs> Three. Four. Five. Five. Uh, the bolt hits the wall and then falls down right to your feet. Tink, 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 tink. You missed. Ada. Yep. Alright, I'm going to throw some wild magic at the spider. Does searching the gob the dead uh, goblin count as a free move I could do on that turn? Not a free move, but on that turn, yeah, you could reach down and grab his thing of bolts. Like, so do I get my bolts minus whatever he shot? Yeah. Let's uh, give me give me a minus. He shot what three of them? Okay, so thank you. All right. Wild magic right at that spider. All right. Twelve plus. That one. Do I, do I get a plus on your thing or no? That's just for damage. You get plus on attack, attack. and okay. damage. So 14. 14, that hits. Awesome. Two plus two, four points of damage. All right, so your what color was your energy again? Like peacock colors, like. Okay. Purples and greens. So a prismatic and blast comes out and you blow out a whole set of its eyeballs. Ooh. Um, and it staggers Rudy. a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah. It staggers a little bit, but then the goblin from behind you ah. on top of the wall fires an arrow and you hear it clink on the wall below you and the spider lunges forward <gasps> trying to bite you but you dodge out of its way. It's depth perception. Totally gone now. Uh, do All I right. have to roll another saving throw? No, because it didn't. Oh, yeah, you can roll saving throw to try to save from the poison. That's a d20 for saving roll? Yep. Plus. Plus. Whichever one that is. What would that be? Fortitude? Yes. 12 plus 3, 15? 15. You save. Nice. Yes. All right, Zyla. 
It's your turn. All right. Can I go through the door and flank the goblin who is still inside? You couldn't flank him. He's behind the He would have to have... Flanking means that it's, it's them with an enemy on either side of him. But we can uh, do or you can sneak up together. On. Well, I wanted to sneak up on him. Sorry, I was just wanting to use. There is that. no. I mean, there, he's focused on just me right now. There, yeah, but but he's behind a whole wall and he's oh, up yeah. on top he's of a just tower. Remember the, yeah. slits, the slits. But I could like shoot up at him, right? But it wouldn't so, really be a sneak attack. That'd be a ranged attack. And Zyla, remember you need to move slowly on this floor because it's very slippery. Right. Um, well, I'm gonna shoot at him with a range. Okay. Fourteen. Uh, your arrow barely misses him and flies yeah. off into the distance. Um, all right. Now he knows I'm here. Yeah. All right. To maybe you guys surviving one yeah. battle. We're gonna blast the rest of these legs off. One can hope. Yeah. Right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> So next up is Bergamot. What are you going to do? Did... I grabbed everything from that Grand Bombolin. I'm going to fire a bolt at that big old spider. Alright. Ten. And that is a base attack of ten. Or no, base attack eleven. Eleven plus... is that... With your pluses. Okay, I'm sorry. I think I was doing that wrong. So What'd you roll? A ten. Ten plus one. Plus your one, base and attack. then and then I have my uh, plus one. Plus twelve. Okay, or that's still sadly not enough. Your bolt misses it. Ada, you're up next. Wild magic. Worth at noting, thirteen doesn't hit the spider. Um, wild magic at the spider. Twelve plus so fourteen. That hits. Roll damage. So four? Four. Uh, you blast it in the face, <laughs> and its other eyes pop <laughs> like little bits of popcorn, and it <laughs> drops to the ground <laughs> with a sploosh. Oh. Curse sploosh. All right. So, so next it's up. It's dead, dead. Huh? It's dead, dead? Mm -mm. Or it's just blind? No, no, it fell to the ground. It's, 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 it's dead? legs curled up. Oh. Yeah. yeah. 